Hi there to the cutters and all the cutters friends. Uh, a big thank you from this end uh, at its time foundation for the cutters support, which is now more than 12 months and a quick sharing of where that impact is being achieved at the moment. So we installed last month uh, a solar system on the island of Rambi. And just so everyone's up to speed, so, so what we do and what the support creates, it puts solar in these remote Fijian schools. So those kids have the opportunity of modern education. And yes, the generators are quietened. So we, we do save some carbon. But the big kicker there is the money that we save on the fuel is creating the cash flow for these schools to buy electronic resources, in particular computers. Now, and in this case, they're saving about 2,500, a little bit more Aussie dollars per year, which doesn't sound a great deal, but that's you know, four or five uh, small laptops in the school, which is massive when they've got zero at the moment. It was a pretty tough job, this one. We had some logistical challenges and uh, wrong equipment arriving and delays and so on, but we did get it done. Um, just to give you a perspective, um, this project is that we stage out of the warehouse in Suva. Uh, we roll on the, the ferry with, in this case, a couple of four wheel drives for this project. Uh, 14 hour run on the ferry overnight up to the island of Vanua Levu uh, and their main uh, town, village there is Savu Savu. Then we travel about three hours up a bumpy road to the village of Kuroko. And then we take an hour on small six metre fibre boats around to the village of Bokonakai where we delivered the project. Um, and understanding that the cutter's audience is, is fairly savvy when it comes to solar, to give you a description of the project. Uh, in this case, we put in a little over six kilowatts of Jinko panels in an AC coupled system. So we fed that into uh, Sunny, Sunny Boy 6, which delivers that power to the Sunny Island 8, which distributes it to the school or stores it in the 6 Simplify PHI 3.8 kilowatt hour uh, lithium batteries. And like all of our 30 plus projects to date, it was held in place by Clenergy. We fully reticulated and fully rewired lights, PowerPoints, uh, the whole school and the library and the four teachers quarters as well. And it's really important to us to, to look after the teachers because they make a massive sacrifice to go out to these really remote places, leave their networks, leave their, you know, their, their extended families and so on. And they'll often be out there for two or three years uh, doing this work on these postings and get home maybe at Christmas and Easter time. So um, it is important to us. It's not just about the kids. It's about looking after the teachers as well and allowing them to deliver as professionally as they can. So um, we did have some hiccups with uh, with Starlink that we were going to put in. Uh, we were quite excited about that, but the government had some licensing issues uh, about Starlink coming into the country. So whilst we had some equipment there, we had to tread water for a little while and uh, I and the team will be back up there hopefully about the last week of August and we'll put Starlink in, which is sort of the icing on the cake for these these communities because or these school communities because it's a complete game changer to go from almost no internet or literally me trying to do updates holding a telephone up in the air to try and get one bar of 3G to turn it into 300 meg download for these schools is just e-learning actually becomes an opportunity for them that the schools are doing on the mainland. So it is an exciting project and there is a thank you certainly from me but the big thank you comes from all of these kids in these remote villages for to you know to the cutters who are supporting us um, along with our other business partners to literally change the lives and have a huge impact on these well not only the kids that are there now but these quality solar systems will deliver power for a couple of generations of kids going through these schools so cheers and and thank you very much costa and the team it's just hugely appreciated